Well, hello there, humans and earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bushkin. Today we're going to be having a look at the M103 and the WZ121. Now these are tanks that I uh, wanted to have a squeeze at. I was doing a little bit of American tank rolling and rocking uh, a couple of weeks back. We did the uh, T29, the T110 E5, and basically I wanted to have a look at the WZ because I think this is... Uh, the M103, because I think this is a tank that... Wargaming absolutely nailed the design on this thing straight out of the gate. Like, this has been such a steadfast tank that has had so little done to it um, in, what, four years? Like, it's, it's, it's had some minor touches here and there, but it's maintained both its aesthetic look and its play style through map changes, through, tr you know, equipment changes, through so many different cataclysmic events. And it's quite amazing to see that they just nailed it. They got this right straight out of the gate. Eight degrees of gun depression, not a whole lot. A turret that only really becomes super strong when used as a gun depression turret. And it's as big as a house. So it's like this... It is the original head like a racing tadpole tank, but it's got a reasonable gun that's really good for a tier nine heavy and and does a lot of things that you wouldn't expect. Like it's so solid penetration wise, two fifty eight millimeters of pen, and it's point three three five dispersion, but it's got a decent aim time at you know about two seconds base, and it's it works and you put it in positions like this now this is the most heroic gun depression position in blitz but this is the first place i drove when i started this tank up again and it absolutely kicked seven shades of poop out of the bad guys if you let any kind of gun depression heavy hold the middle on this map even when they don't have a lot of hit points left they can just make hay it is such a fantastic position uh, and the m103 really does still work any review of the m103 i've done before and i've done like three of them now it just go and watch it it's the same tank it's so good and it is so like and there are so many good tanks at this tier like don't get me wrong in terms of heavies the st1 is marvelous it's magnificent the e75 is still absolutely glorious the vk4502 b is another really good heavy uh, one of the most underrated heavies at this tier is the ISA. It's just at tier 10, you start getting these really, really good tanks in every kind of facet of the game. And at tier 9, the M103 is so consistent with where you end up with the T110E5 that it's surprising. Um, the E5's turret is actually stronger than the 103's, but it's this trend from the, T, uh, the T32 on where you start becoming a, a really lovely gun handling tank that can be mobile enough to get around the traps and do lots of good things so if you're looking for a line to go up that is really rewarding and teaches you to play a gun depression heavy the american heavy line is without a doubt a can't miss like if you can play these tanks as heavy tanks uh, you're going to do exceptionally well with anything that features gun depression. Now, the second tank I want to talk about today is the WZ-121. This thing got buffed uh, pretty hard in the recent update 6.5. And it's now at the point where it's like 3.5k DPM, but it's got 420 alpha. So it's got the DPM, the alpha for peak of booming. Uh, it's got good turret armor for a tier 10 medium and... It's fairly mobile and got really solid chassis. Like I, I know it's crazy, and I know that there's been chat from people about Wargaming testing the T62A with eight degrees of gun depression, and I think that's kind of nutty as well. But I look at tanks like the WZ121, and this is power creep personified. This is a three and a half thousand damage medium tank in terms of DPM with a 420 alpha gun and really good armor for it. If you look at some of the tanks that it competes with at tier 10 that are mediums um, that have better DPM, they've got like better DPM by 70. Like the Leopard one has 70 DPM more. 
70 DPM more, and this thing does it with 420 alpha. So I drove this and was like, this is the first game I played in this tank after the patch. I was just, you can't be serious. This thing is so good. Um, I don't know what I'm missing because I've driven it a few times now and it is really lovely. It's a lovely drive. The, it's got six degrees of gun depression. That's not bad. Like the Object 140 has six degrees of gun depression. Um, <laughs> and this... This thing has the gun depression. It's got plenty of mobility. It's got crazy good uh, alpha. It's got fantastic DPM. I mean, it doesn't have a laser beam for a gun, but if you're the Chinese line now is really good. It's so much better, so much better than it was when it kicked off. Now, obviously, comparing it with the Leopard One isn't quite fair because the Leopard One is lights out fast and has a laser beam for a gun, right? But. There's nothing wrong with this. This tank's got plenty going for it. I wouldn't be upset if uh, I had to drive this tank every day of the week. It's a lovely drive and a tank that I think you should be looking at. It's The Chinese medium line is now really good. The tier seven is outstanding, really good. Uh, the T-34 and two, and you get all the way to the top and the WZ-121 is a legitimate contender for you know one of the best mediums in its headspace, which is crazy when you think about it. It really wasn't like that originally. And in fact, when they first came out, the complete lack of gun depression coupled with, uh, you know, the 400 alpha and the low DPM was enough to make me think that, you know, we're not really going to have a great tank on our hands here. And I said as much at the time. I thought the 121B was actually a better tank, the premium tank, but I don't think that anymore. I think this thing's just got everything you could want in a medium tank. It's like having a medium heavy which is i guess what the wz113 is <laughs> and this is just pretty crack it doesn't have the hit points and not quite the armor but it's got plenty going for it i hope you guys enjoyed that only a quick hit out today uh we've got a live stream tomorrow and uh i'm going to be doing some videos over the weekend as well um I've been super busy. Congratulations to, I dropped into Triari today. They had their birthday bash. They had about 74 people in the Discord channel and it was lovely to be there and be a part of that again. So congratulations guys on another year of Blitz Madness. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. And until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.